So this is the MCDC, uh, the Movement Charter Drafting Committee. Most of our members are here. Uh, unfortunately, Pepe and from Mexico and Erica from uh, Argentina were not able to, Brazil, sorry, were not able to make it. But I'm gonna pass the mic to each of our, my colleagues and they'll tell you who they are and where they're from. Hello, I'm Richard, user Nosebag Bear, and I'm from the UK. I'm George from Cameroon. Um, I'm Jorge Vargas. I work for the foundation, and I'm originally Colombian, but live in San Francisco. Hi, I'm Runa. I'm from India, and I'm also a staff member on the uh, at the Wikimedia Foundation. Hi, I'm Manav. I'm from India. Good day. I'm Michal from Wikimedia Poland and C Hub. Uh, hello, my name is Anas, and I'm from Morocco. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm born and raised in the Netherlands. Hi, I'm uh, Richard User Ferros. I'm from New York City and, and secondarily from the United States. And uh, Daria, I'm uh, from Poland and uh, Wikimedia UK. Hi. User Risker, uh, Anne Klin, and I'm from Canada uh, and mainly work on the English Wikipedia. So that's who we are. Uh, most of, we were elected or selected by the community and the affiliates to uh, represent the broad diversity of thought on the issues of the Charter. Uh, so we're on our agenda. We're introducing ourselves. We're telling you what's going on. We're going to be having three breakout groups, and we're going to have two sessions of breakouts. So the three groups are Global Council, hubs and the ratification process and there will also be online attendees who will be uh, engaging in all of the different questions that we are asking within these uh, breakout groups and then we're going to follow up with some next steps so this is a very basic introduction to the drafts that we have going now we are all very well aware that these are not going to be the final drafts. They are provided to the community for feedback so that we can improve and take into consideration the concerns and, and uh, ideas that come from the community members. Uh, we were set about to uh, do our task to ensure equity in decision making within the movement. Uh, we want to be coming up with solutions that work different, differently and effectively for everybody. To make this work, we are working to build a movement charter that will help us to do some of these things. So way back, a long time ago, we published uh, the preamble and the values that we, were we had established in developing the, the charter. And we're working to define the movement to identify what we're supposed to do with it. We want to ensure that all stakeholders in the movement have their rights and responsibilities described and that it applies equally to both existing entities and potential future entities. Uh, the values and the principles that the Movement Charter builds on are free and open knowledge, inclusivity, inclusivity independence, subsidiarity, decision-making at the level that has the most responsibility for seeing that decision through, equity, accountability, and resilience. We want this movement to continue to survive for many, many years. Sorry. So... Our Global Council draft, I, you can read that. I can't read all of that. <laughs> uh, the idea is that it is a body composed of volunteers that would have some support from staff. And the volunteers on the Global Council come from a diverse range of Wikimedians from all over the world and with all kinds of different levels of experience within the movement. Uh, it's intended to improve accountability and transparency uh, to improve movement-wide decision-making sy systems 
to make sure that it's movement resources and are more, made more available and more equitably to individuals and to communities. And we want to nurture trust amongst the stakeholders, which seems to be an ongoing issue. Uh, the Global Council carries out its purpose by creating standards and objectives for groups across the movements, providing some oversight and some limited executive decision. And that is based on the current draft that we have now. So the discussion questions that we are asking you to help us figure out are what are the pros and cons of different kinds of global council structures? A small executive, an advisory body, a general assembly, all kinds of different structures have been proposed. So we want to look at the pros and the cons of each of those. And what is the relationship between the global council and the Wikimedia Foundation and its board of trustees? Those are the two questions that we will be putting to the groups that are having those breakout sessions. With the hubs draft, uh, regional and thematic hubs are intended to be structures for mutual support to help build a body of knowledge that is available to all and to support each other in various activities. You know, we want to learn, we want to share knowledge, we want to make that knowledge available to each other. And the questions that we're going to be asking in that those discussion groups are, why would we start a hub? What would its purpose be? And what are the advantages of being, in, being a member of a hub being, as opposed to not being a member of a hub? And the other question is about fundraising. Uh, do you agree that hubs should be able to fundraise independently from the WMF through non-banner channels? And should all hubs, both regional and thematic, be able to fundraise? So those are important questions and you'll, know, you'll hear them again and again. The ratification draft proposal uh, comes from the fact that we recognize that there are very different types of stakeholders to whom this charter would apply. And the first group, obviously, are individual editors. The next group is the individual projects, uh, obviously the affiliates, and the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees, who's sort of in charge of their whole Wikimedia Foundation. Um, we'll be using probably secure poll uh, as a voting platform for individuals and projects. Um, and it'll determine total votes of all the individual editors and each individual project. Uh, each affiliate will have one vote and their collective vote will determine the outcome of the affiliate vote. And the board of trustees gets one vote. So all four of those groups need to agree for the charter to be ratified. So the discussion questions that we have are how do we balance transparency and privacy in, these, in the voting process? And how can we reassure voters that counts are accurate and fair and, and that the result is valid if we take steps to protect the privacy of the individual voters in this process? So. You have your ideas as you can start to figure out where you want to wind up being. We just wanted to let you know that Roles and Responsibilities, which was published just before Wikimania, uh, is intended to ensure that entities and stakeholders within the movement have, de have decentralized roles and responsibilities and that those res roles and responsibilities are distributed as equitably equitably, that's a hard word, as possible across the movement, uh, and responsibilities are delegated to the lowest reasonable level. And there's also a glossary that was published in July. It's giving, giving people an idea of how we are using specific terms within the charter. We're trying to use this, those terms consistently throughout the document. And part of the reason for the development of a glossary instead of linking to wiki pages or 
uh, external sources is to ensure that if those other sources make ch have changes in the future, they will not change the meaning of the term within the charter. So it's time now for our breakout sessions. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll do hubs there, ratification over here, and global council up here. So please feel free to move around, grab a drink of water while you're at it. And we'll be back.
Five minute warning. Five minute warning for your breakout group before we switch.
everyone. The first round of the, okay, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and then I'll give instructions. Okay, the first round of the breakouts is over. But listen carefully. You can stay within your group if you want, or you can take this opportunity to rotate groups. The Global Council is up here. The hubs is over there. The ratification is over there. You can stay in your group and continue the conversation, or you can take this opportunity to rotate groups and meet new people and talk about new things. It will be another 30 minutes. I'll give you 60 seconds to move around if you want.
Sandra has a
Five minute warning, five minute warning.
whole of Kaiser Border. Hi, everyone. Hi, it's the, the bearer of bad news. <laughs> it is time to wrap up. Unless you want to like go into your lunchtime, we got to wrap up now. Um, so, yes, we're going to wrap up right now. I'm going to ask the MCDC members from each group to recap what they heard. Um, and, then, <laughs> and, and then the group members... If if there's discrepancy in what they recapped, you have a t you have an option to refute it as well. But MCC members, recap your sessions. It's next is fine. Yes, to everyone, you're gonna recap to everyone, so everyone knows what's happening. 
I will walk around with the mic. Who wants to go first? Okay, I'm getting a request for two more minutes. So I'm going to give this group two more minutes. They will go last as well. That's what you get. <laughs> Two more minutes. Okay, here we go. Hubs, you want to go first? You ready, Jorge? Okay, so the hubs group is going. The hubs group is going to recap what they shared, and the hubs participant can, you know, veto what he said. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we have to start again. Delete everything. Start from zero. Um, no, so uh, I, I mean, a lot of amazing feedback that trying to summarize it, it's going to be complicated, but I would try to maybe highlight three main points. One is that um, the charter around hubs is being too specific. It's talking about things that may not exist in the future. What if regional fund committees or AFCOM or something like that, that is mentioned in the charter in general, but also in the context of hubs is um, a figure that is no longer there. So definitely trying to take the element of going back a lot of steps and making this more of a, as a charter, just a high level constitution, and then allow policies to be discussed around fundraising, for instance. So jumping to the second point, when we discussed the fundraising element, there was definitely no clear consensus on how would the fundraising work, what vehicles should be done, but maybe the charter shouldn't even get to that point. Contrary point that we were saying in, as drafting committee is the fact that fundraising seems to be like the topic that everyone wants to talk about. And we felt the pressure of having to like also find ways to discuss this in the charter. So that was the other thing. Um, and uh, I would say that the third point was that we really need to reduce the hub anxiety. There's this notion of if I'm not in a hub, I'm going to miss out. And we have to be way more specific or explicit in the charter that not being in a hub is not bad, but in the contrary, we should really refocus on how can we make affiliates stronger, even if they're not in a hub. Um, so trying to reduce the hub anxiety that the movement is currently under. There's a lot of more, but I think that that's, I don't uh, did I miss a big point? Okay. Does anyone wanna, you know, refute what he said? No? Good job, good job, Jorge. We have ratification next. So we talked, our focus was on how, how to, uh, or our questions were focused on how to ensure trust in the outcome if we were to pri make private more of the information that comes with using SecurePoll. And what, and I want, we sort of figured, yeah, yeah, that's not a problem, was the feedback that we got, we'll, we'll figure that out. But it was more, is this the way that we want to vote? Uh, do we want to use secure poll? Should projects be able to vote in different ways? Uh, what, and, and looking at the actual complexity of how we are setting up the vote. Uh, we got a lot of uh, really useful feedback on different suggestions on how to carry out the vote. 
I thought it was very interesting that, you know, here we were so worried about, you know, having people f have faith in the result, and their concern was the practicalities of the vote. And I think that told us what we needed to know. So we really appreciate this feedback. Um, we derailed a little bit from the uh, original questions and then also talked about the difference between vo voting for the charter to say, okay, this is the charter that we want as a movement, and then in the next step, ratifying it for your own organization or community because we think, uh, uh, like, yeah, we thought it would probably be two different steps. And thank you, application. <laughs> Global Council, my rowdy group, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> Who of the MCDC members wants to recap what they learned and take, take it away? Uh, I will try really my best. We, we had a lot of rich discussions, and I know we want to eat lunch, so I will be very, very quick. Okay. Uh, but, but really, it, it was incredibly useful feedback for us. A lot of ideas that we received. So we obviously talked about the Global Council. And most specifically, we, we talked about a lot of things. But the most specific part we talked about, especially in the beginning, was the structure. So the different uh, types of structure that we had. In the beginning, we presented the scenarios that we had. And we put pros and cons for each one. But then we went to a third scenario, which was to have uh, just a general assembly um, following the European model. And most of the discussions were there about what are the pros and cons about uh, that model and if it would apply to a global uh, context or global movement. But it was really very useful discussions. And uh, I'm sure that we will have the, the, the notes later to, uh, to, to go into the details. Uh, we also had very useful discussions about specific concepts, maybe uh, that we need to, to think about also later, for example, what is democracy, what is accountability, Wh how do we ensure accountability, how, how can we uh, have diversity, because if we have direct elections, we will not have the diversity that we strive for. These are not easy questions, and the, the good thing is that we have diverse members also who came in between the two sessions, so we have a lot of opinions from different uh, parts of the world also, uh, so we saw a lot of, of useful perspectives. So yes, we... I am a bit overwhelmed with all the, the input that we received, but really thank you everyone who, who participated. I probably missed a lot of points, but it's because it was a lot of really useful ideas. I don't know if anyone wants to mention some specific idea that they liked. Yeah, sure. So I think the uh, note that we have taken for ourselves is that we, are, we need to prepare a parallel document to the charter to explain how we have reached a certain conclusion on why, what are the basics behind how we have proposed a certain structure. That is one uh, uh, ask. And the second ask is that in the scenario two that we have explained, there is no accountability that we have set for the executive body with the larger group. And the suggestion is that if you're going with that model, uh, we'll, irrespective of the terminology that we have used here, there should be accountability which, should, uh, which the executive body should have with the larger group. And that's the general agreement that we have in the thing. Anyone from the group want to add something, refute something? Remote. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're going to have lunch over this. Uh, but I think that's it. Um, Murad, you want to wrap us up with next steps? Okay, well, thank you so much. Uh, even when we were designing the flow of these conversations, I mean, drafts were shared in July. The MCDC worked really, really hard, y'all. Drafting groups multiple times a week, weekends. Uh, I think, I don't even know, we had, you had one Sunday free this whole summer. So this takes a lot of effort, hours of calls, and it's so great. And the whole thought, as even Anas opened this group, was this is not a final verdict. This is not a mandate. It's the whole thought was let's have documents out so people can react to it like you are doing here. So thank you so much. And the conversation continues. The whole thought was July, August, let it be online. Let's hear what people are saying on Wiki. We're getting great response on that. Wikimania was really seen as a milestone. Let's engage with people in person. So thank you so much for contributing here. And the conversation continues online, on calls, and also, um, I mean, September to November, there are many regional events happening. Uh, Wiki Convention Francophone, uh, Wiki Indaba, there's so much. So look for, 
Yes, the German speaking Wikicon. <laughs> and the summit pre engagement. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, please join, please share ideas, please speak to your MCDC at a call and continue to share thoughts and uh, hopefully new drafts. We be shared. We'll see. We'll we'll share with you a, an updated comms plan. Hopefully at the end of Wikimania. Thank you so much. Bon appetit. Buen provecho.